everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you code.org course to your lesson for debugging with Laura. So, um, first watch this video and then click continue. So, let's look at this level. It says fix the errors to collect all the treasure. So, what this code does um, is it moves forward all the way to the end which we do not want that. We needed to collect after every single move forward. So I'm going to put these two blocks aside and put the collect here. So now since we're repeating the same code again three times, I'm just going to put this away and take the repeat block and say repeat three times and put these two blocks inside. So now let's click finish and continue. So again, it says fix the errors to collect all of the treasure. So let's see what this does. This, what this code does is it moves forward, collect, moves forward, collect, turn left, moves forward, then collect. Well, instead of turn left, we need to turn right. We need to turn right. <laughs> um, now let's click continue. So again, this one says fix the errors to collect all of the treasure. Well, th what this code does is it she moves forward, collect, moves forward, collect, and then moves forward and collect. Well, the gems are not in different spots in this level. Like they're all they're all in the same um spot. So we don't need all these blocks. We just need these two. Um. So. Since we have to collect it three times, I'm going to use a repeat block and say repeat three times and put the collect block inside. <laughs> so now let's say finish and continue for this one too. So again, this says fix the errors to collect all of the treasure. And let's see what this code does. So this code um, moves forward. Um, then it collects. Then it turns left. Well, we need it to... We need her to turn right, so it's facing this, so she's facing this way, and then we need her to move forward, then collect, and then turn left, not turn right. So let's change this from turn right to turn left. So she has turned left, she's facing this way, move forward, collect, turn right, move forward, collect. Now let's run it and see what it does. <laughs> so now let's <laughs> click continue. So here it says all the commands that you need are already here. Now use your debugging skills to figure out how to solve this puzzle. So first let's take all the collect blocks, all the turn right blocks, and all the move forward blocks and separate them. So what we need to do is we have to move forward, then collect. Well since we're going to repeat it three times, I'm going to use a repeat block and say repeat three times. And then put these two blocks inside of it. Now we have to turn right because we want to face this direction here and then move forward twice. Now we want to turn right and then collect. And now we want to move forward, collect, move forward, collect. So since I'm repeating that two times, I'm going to just use this block, say repeat two times, and say move forward, collect. So now let's run it into the other box. <laughs> now let's click finish and continue. So this is a challenge puzzle. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best that you can. So if you want, you can skip for now, but I'm just gonna click I'm ready. So it says, use the code in the work area to get at least six pieces of treasure. Well, here there are eight pieces of treasure. But they say we need to get at least six pieces of treasure. So I'm just going to get six. So I'm just going to move it there. So what you need to do is first turn left. So he's facing this way. Then, move forward. Then, turn right. 
then move forward, then collect twice, because we're here, then move forward, and then turn right. So she's here, and she is facing this direction. Now she has to move forward again. Let's just see what it does so far. So she's here now. Now let's collect um two times. So she's here. And then move forward once. So she's here and then turn right. And then move forward three times. Or you could just use a repeat block. And then collect twice. So now let's run it. <laughs> so now let's click finish and continue. So this one says, help Laurel fix the code to get all the treasure. Uh, so what this code does is it makes her move forward, then collect, then turn left. Well, we need her to um, re collect it three times here. So I'm going to add the collect and say repeat three times in the repeat block. So she has collected three times. Now she turns left, move forward, turn left, collect, collect, move forward, collect. So we only need one. Collect, we don't need three. So now let's run. <laughs> now let's click finish and continue. Now let's see the last level. Again it says help Laurel fix the code to get all the treasury. So... Let's see what this code does. Well, this code makes her move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, collect four times. So we need her to collect five times until we can use a repeat block instead of so many collects. So I'm going to put the collect inside of the repeat block and say repeat five times and put this block back. So now move forward. Now, instead of turn left, we can do turn right, then move forward, and then collect five times again. Or just put it to the side. So, collect five times. Now, let's run it. <laughs> so, now I'm just going to click finish and continue. And thank you for watching, um, hope you found this video.